A former opposition MP joins the cabinet in Dominica and in sport, Trinidad and Tobago's 100-meter Commonwealth Games gold medalist pulls out of the 4x100-meter relays. I'm Ricardo Roberts and this is Caribbean in 10 for Wednesday, April 11th. I'll be back with the details after the break. Now, crime is a global problem affecting communities locally, regionally, and internationally. In an effort to treat with the problem, agencies in Tobago are working together to come up with preventative solutions before solutions escalate into major concerns. Omidara Mills tells us more. For the period of January to February 2018, there has been a general decrease in crime when compared to the same period last year. Just how serious is this issue with North Korea and its impact on the rest of the world and stability? If I may, let me just say, the president has to go to Latin America because it is unraveling at the moment. You have country after country that is being destabilized, most especially Venezuela. This is but as a, result, as a result of Venezuela's collapse, you're seeing migrations We begin in Dominica a week after resigning from the main opposition United Workers Party, UWP. Joseph Isaac has joined Roosevelt Skerritt's cabinet. The Prime Minister announced last night that Isaac will head the newly created Ministry of the Environment, Climate Resilience, Disaster Mitigation and Urban Renewal as he revealed changes to his cabinet that also include the appointment of a Deputy Prime Minister. Skerritt said the cabinet reshuffle was necessary to facilitate new efforts at rebuilding the country which was devastated by Hurricane Maria last September. Isaac left the opposition party last Wednesday citing its policy of putting party before country as the reason for his departure and said he would sit as an independent member of parliament. Skerritt said in his televised address to the nation that he met with the Rosal Central MP a day after his resignation announcement and the cabinet offer was eventually made. I believe that a time for this has come, not necessarily from a successor perspective, as I do not believe the issue of leadership is something that can be bequeathed from one leader to another. However, I believe that for matters of continuity and seamless transition in the day-to-day -day functioning of government, there is benefit at this time in my naming a Deputy Prime Minister who shall not only act as Prime Minister in my absence from the country, but who shall also be tasked with several administrative functions in the harnessing and coordination of the various ministries. That individual, incidentally, shall also be assigned the all-important portfolio of agriculture, food, and fisheries. The Prime Minister also named Reginald Austri as his Deputy Prime Minister. The other major change Skerritt announced was that from tomorrow he would assume ultimate ministerial responsibility for housing even though Johnson Drigo will be Minister in the Ministry of Housing and Lands dealing with the day-to-day -day operations. The Prime Minister said he took the decision because he believes the next two years will be critical to the success of Dominica's national rebuilding objectives. Antigua and Barbuda's Prime Minister Gaston Brown says non-nationals who have nothing to offer to the twin island nation need to get out of the country. While admitting that it was a sensitive topic and he did not want CARICOM nationals to think they were being profiled, Brown said there were many of them who were in the country without jobs and were burdening, burdening the society. Speaking on local radio, the Prime Minister said those who come into the country and have no positive contribution make um, to make must be sent back home because they represent a threat not to not only indigenous Antiguans, but other immigration or immigrants living in the country. It was against that background he, that he said the monitoring of migrants in Antigua and Barbuda has to improve. 
Over in Jamaica now, the government will seek to further extend the zones of special operations in Mount Salem, St. James and Denham Town in Kingston. A resolution for the extension is slated to be tabled during this afternoon's sitting of the House of Representatives. This would be the fourth extension for the Mount Salem zone, which became operational on September 1st last year, while it would be the third for Denham Town. The House on February 13 approved two resolutions requesting a 60-day extension for the two operations. They were moved by Prime Minister Andrew Holness, who said the additional time was a necessary enabler for the intensified delivery of social services and infrastructure investment. Stay with us. Your Midday Sport is next. One hundred meter Commonwealth Games gold medalist Michelle Lee Ayi will not be running in the four by one hundred meter relay. This was confirmed by the Trinidadian, who stopped short of saying why she pulled out. TV 6s Sergio Dufour reports. After winning gold in the one hundred meters at the Commonwealth Games, Michelle Lee Ayi wet the appetite of several sporting fans, hoping to see her tear it up again in the four by one hundred meters. It's not going to happen though with the athlete saying her coach says that that's it. However, no explanation was given for why Ayi pulled out. She would only say... Oh yeah, yeah, I'm not going really. Because uh, there's a hundred and, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They said they do, but they'll be alright. They, they don't know me. They got this. The situation has prompted reflection upon what was Ayi's real reason for not running, especially after she made the comment, so I definitely won't be running the relay since home girl is future female track. My main focus for the Commonwealth Games is my individual event, end quote. Is this the reason why Ayi won't be running the 4 by 100 meters? Former TNT sprinter Ayanna Hutchinson Britton is one who is hoping the camaraderie issue isn't the reason Ayi opted out. She says Ayi should be running based on paper. You should have expected to see her in the 4x1 because when she was selected, she was selected to run both the 100 and the 4x1. Um, I hope it's not injury or anything nagging that's causing her to pull out. Other than that, I think she should, be, I think she should run. And Bermudan Flora Duffy, with a gold medal already under her belt, has withdrawn from the mountain bike race after deeming the course too risky before she races in an ITU World Triathlon Series WTS race in Bermuda later this month. The 30-year-old Duffy, who won gold in the women's triathlon on the Games opening event, made the tough decision to pull out after taking two days to familiarize herself with the course at Narang State Forest. She described the trail as very raw rocky, steep and difficult and felt she could not justify putting herself at risk at this crucial stage of her career. That's Caribbean in 10. Join us again at 6.30 for Caribbean Newsline. Good afternoon. <laughs>